Sunswift is the University of New South Wales solar car racing team. We build and race solar cars in the biannual World Solar Challenge. The World Solar Challenge is an international competition that happens every two years. We get teams from all around the world who fly in state-of-the-art solar cars and race them driving from Darwin to Adelaide, right across the centre of Australia. It's pretty intense, it takes four to six days to complete. Um, you experience all sorts of conditions from desert sun to rains to, we even had bushfires last year, which closed down part of the track. So it's a real test of endurance for the drivers, for the designers, for everyone involved. So we as a team have been around since 1996 and we've experienced many hardships along the way. But in the past few years, we've been going really well. In 2011, we broke the Guinness World Record for the fastest solar car in the world and we've been the top Australian team in the solar car race for the past two races. The car this year is a dramatic shift away from what we've done in the past. Before, we built a car purely for speed and not really care about the practicality. This, this new car will be much safer and hopefully will lead to more solar car technology being implemented into consumer cars in the future. Simply parking outside um, on a sunny day, it can generate about 160 kilometers of range. The solar car has a power of a typical toaster, but it can reach speeds of over 100 kilometers an hour. So over the past year, the team's put a lot of effort into approaching sponsors and securing um, financial sponsorship. However, we're still short of you know, funds for our race, funds for final parts. And as a result, we're putting out this campaign to our friends and family so that they can get behind our efforts to build a sustainable and green solar car. To get behind this project means you're investing in the future of the solar, the automotive industry and in the solar industry. The people who develop these kind of technologies now are the ones that go into industry to make your the technology of the future just better. So if we make our target, the car will be on the road. The reason why is because we need parts and logistics to get there. I mean, getting to Darwin is not cheap. This is pushing car design for alternative energy vehicles, which are going to transfer into everyday life. And by them supporting this, they're basically supporting the future of the, like, everyday automobile. New and innovative, that it just blows my mind. I think it's special because it's kind of a look into what perhaps the future holds in the automotive industry. It's green and helps the environment, and I'm all for that.